So you guys have been asking for more makeup tutorials, so I decided to do one on this look. I've been wearing it in a couple of my recent videos and you guys requested a tutorial on it so often. So here we go, we have this nice, natural, glowy, glam look. Let's get started. So I'm gonna start out with the Jouer Matte Primer just to go ahead and mattify my face and make sure that the oils doesn't break through and destroy my makeup. Then I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation to give myself a nice flawless finish. This is a little more than I would use every day, but I don't really feel like this is an everyday makeup look. So I'm just gonna buff that in all over my skin and then move on to concealer. I'm gonna be using my favorite Maybelline Fit Me concealer and I'm using this as a concealer slash highlighter. So it's going underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow and a little bit just over my eyebrows. Then I'm gonna blend that in. I really love this concealer because it's super lightweight, it feels great on the skin, and it looks really natural. So you can pair it with this kind of look or like a no makeup makeup look. Then I'm gonna set everything with the Cody Airspun Foundation. I am kind of baking a little bit under my eyes, just going a little heavily with the powder, a little more heavily over my nose, and then just dusting the rest of my face to make sure that everything is nice and powdered and no longer sticky. And now I'm contouring with bronzer. I don't know why, I just love the way that bronzer looks as my contour. So I'm putting it through the hollows of my cheeks and then I'm gonna go a little over my forehead and then a little on the outside of my nose. Again, this is a little more than I usually do, but I do like the definition it gives me. And now onto blush, I'm using ColourPop's Blush in Bonus and I'm just gonna put this over the apples of my cheeks for a little rosy glow. And speaking of glow, it's time for highlight. I'm using the Anastasia Glow Kit and I'm mixing bubbly and sunburst together for a nice, very luminous glow on my cheekbones. And a little tiny bit on the tip of my nose. Now I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes and move on to eyeshadow. For my base color, I'm using a shade from the Lorac Mega Pro Palette. This was limited edition, so I'm using the shade Copper and I'm gonna swatch it on my skin so you can find what in your collection looks most similar. But it's mostly just a very warm, shimmery bronze. So I'm putting that over my lids and then I'm going to blend it up into the crease. I'm gonna deepen up the crease just a little bit with my shade and light palette. I'm using this light brown and I'm just going to dust that into my crease and then blend it out quite a bit. I'm even switching to a clean fluffy brush just to make sure this is super blended. Then I'm gonna grab this highlight shade also from the shade and light palette and it's just gonna go underneath my brow bone and blend into that crease color so that you get that nice seamless gradient. And then it's time to add some shimmer. So I'm gonna use sand from the Lorac Pro Palette and it's just this light, slightly warm, but really shimmery shade. And you can find whatever is a nice light highlight for your skin tone and just place that over the middle of your eyelid and kind of blend it out and then place that into the inner corner as well so that you're nice and glowy, but you still have the definition from that darker shade underneath. Now it's time for some eyeliner. So I'm using this really smoky coal liner and I'm putting my liner down and slightly winging it out, but only slightly. Then I'm going to take a angled brush and I'm going to blend that out into more of a winged shape. And the reason that I'm going to do it this way is because I want it to be really smoky and just really, really blended out. That's kind of my signature when it comes to eyeliner. It's lots and lots of layers and it's very, very blended. So I'm also doing that to the inside of my eye to make sure that we're ready for those lashes we're gonna put on later, and then I'm doing the same thing on the other eye. Now I'm gonna grab this darker brown matte eyeshadow and I'm gonna deepen up the outer V. So I'm going over the outside of the wing we just made and a little bit into the crease. And then of course I'm gonna go back in and blend that out to make sure it's nice and smooth and very well diffused. And now we're gonna add some lashes. So first I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara to prep for the lashes. I'm using the Ciate Triple Shot Mascara for this one. It's nice and waterproof, but it also holds the shape of your eyelashes really, really nicely. For today, I'm using the Demi Wispies by Ardell for my lashes and just popping those on. Although in some of the videos that you guys requested, I was wearing a little bit heavier lashes. Then I'm just going over the band with some more eyeliner to make sure that the band is all blended in. For my lower lash line, I'm going to use that shimmery copper color that we used at the very beginning and I'm just going to dust that over my lower lash line. And that's enough definition for me, but you can always add more if you want it. Now for brows, I'm gonna use the bit of it Gimme Brow and I'm just using this to kind of tame my brow hairs and also make them look a little bit thicker. Then I'm just gonna use the obligatory Anastasia Brow Wiz to make sure that everything is nicely filled in. All I really do is ever go through and kind of fill in the sparse areas and make everything look a little bit more even, but I like my brows natural shape pretty well. 
I have worn a lot of lips with this makeup look, but today I'm going to use this lip liner in Brink to go ahead and outline my lips. And once they're outlined, I'm going to go ahead and blend it in so it's not one solid line, it's nice and diffused which is like the trend of this makeup video. <laughs> then I'm gonna go ahead and use this Maybelline Matte Lipstick to fill everything in and you get this nice like rosy pink color. Finally, I'm just gonna add a little bit of gloss to the center of my lips for some shimmer and shine. And that is it for this makeup tutorial. I like that this look focuses on like a really natural glow and a really natural look even though it is definitely still glam. Um, and that's it for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.